And that we also negate ما قاله المبتدعة والضلال We also refuse and we don't accept that which the innovators and the misguided ones they say those who claim those who claim with their misguidance and their corruption they claim that are in the names of Allah and His attributes and characteristics there is majaz majaz meaning that Allah's names are metaphors, similes. And so based on that, they start to negate Allah's characteristics. They start to distort Allah's characteristics, subhanahu wa ta'ala, by following what? Their whims and their desires, ala ahwa'ihim, or their either blind following, مُقَلِّدِينَ لِمَنْ لَا يَصْلُحُ لِلْقُدْوَةِ مِنَ الضُّلَّالِ Or they're following people who are not befitting for one to take as an example and as a role model. And now the Sheikh, those points that he mentions which are really very important, which are very important, he now brings the evidence for it. And he says, well, he based on that which I have said. قال سبحانه وتعالى الله السد سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين فسبح نفسه عما وصف به المخالفون للرسل وسلم على المرسلين لسلامة ما قالوه من النقص والعيب الشيخ سيد all of that which he mentioned, now he's saying, because Allah has said. وَلِهَذَا and because of that. وَلِهَذَا again is a ta'aleel, is a reasoning. Based on a reason, of all of that which I mentioned, he said the reason for that, Allah has said. What did he say? Subhana exalted is he. Subhana again is an ism, mazdar, min at tasbihi wa huwa tanzih. Subhana, is a verbal noun and it comes from the word tasbih and it is to exalt Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. Subhana rabbika the word rabb huwa al-maliku sayyidu al-murabbi li khalqihi bin'amatihi ama bin'amihi the word rabb is the master the one who nurtures and he cultivates he slaves with his own blessings Rabbika, your Lord. Rabbil Izza. Al Izza is Al Quwa. Wal Ghalaba. Wal Mana'a. Wal Mana'a. It is the one who has strength. The one who has power. And attributing Izza to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it falls under the chapter of what? It falls under Idafatul Mawsufi ila Sifa. Attributing the characteristics, uh, uh, sorry, attributing the character, uh, the uh, uh, to Allah Taala the characteristics. Subhana Rabbi Karabil Izzati Amma Yasifun. Yasifun means what? Yasifun bihi al Mukhalifun li al Rusul ma la yaliq bi Jalalin. The description. That the opposition, those who have opposed the path of the messengers and the prophets, describing Allah, that which does not befit him. Exalted is he from that. So Allah negated from himself. Allah has negated from himself. That which those who have opposed the path of the prophet messengers, the description and the way they have described him. Is exalt, he's exalted from that, and that's being negated from him. But Allah has affirmed another one for himself. He said, وَالسَّلَامٌ May peace be upon. The word salam is like greeting. May peace be upon the statement عَلَى الْمُرْسَلِينَ The messengers. Those in which Allah has sent them with a message to his creation. 
and they have conveyed this message as it should be conveyed. وَبَلَّغُوا رِسَالَاتِ رَبِّهِمْ They conveyed the message of their Lord the way they should have done so. وَسَلَامٌ عَلَى الْمُرْسَلِينَ Peace be upon the messengers. وَالْحَمْدُ And the word Alhamd we spoke about at the beginning. Praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ The Lord of all of the creation. The word Alamina is Jab'u Alam. And the word Alam is everything besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's five benefits that we take from this ayah. There are five benefits that we take from this last ayah in Surah Al-Safat. Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Izzati Amma Yasifun. That's one. The second one is Wasalamun ala al mursaleena And the third one is Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. There are five benefits that we take from it. The first benefit that we take from that verse is what? Tanzihu Allahi to negate from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Amma yasifuhu bihi dullalu wal juhalu mimma la yaliku bi jalalihi. To negate from Allah tabarak wa ta'ala and to exalt him from the description, the misguided ones, the ignorant ones. They attribute to him subhanahu wa ta'ala and that does not befit him. We are those who exalt him from it. We don't accept that characteristics and that attribute to be attributed to him. Because he does not befit his majesty. The second one is Sidqur Rusuli. The second benefit that we take from these two, three, three verses is what? That the messengers are truthful. And that it's obligatory. وَوُجُوبِ قَبُولِ مَا جَاءُوا بِهِ And that it's obligatory to accept that which they have come with. وَمَا أَخْبَرُوا بِهِ عَنِ اللَّهِ And to also accept that which they have told us about Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. Number three. The permissibility. And that it's legislated. مَشْرُوعِيَةُ salami To place peace على الرسول on the messengers عليه الصلاة عليهم الصلاة والسلام واحترامهم and also to respect them and to honor them respect them Number four Rejecting رد كُلِّ مَا يُخَالِفُ مَا جَاءَتْ بِهِ الرُّسُلُ To reject and to repel everything that opposes that which the messengers have come with. Especially لَا سِيَّمَا مَا يَتَعَلَّقُ بِأَسْمَاءِ اللَّهِ وَصِفَاتِهِ Especially that which is connected to Allah's names and attributes. Number five مشروعية الثناء على الله وشكره على نعمه التي من أجلها نعمة التوحيد That is legislated to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to show him gratitude on his blessings in which he has bestowed upon us Especially the greatest blessing, which is a tawheed. Which is a what? A tawheed. The Shaykh went on to say, فَسَبَّحَ نَفْسُ عَمَّا وَصَفَ بِهِ الْمُخَالِفُونَ لِلْرُسُلِ Allah, he exalted himself. فَسَبَّحَ نَفْسَهُ He exalted himself. عَمَّا وَصَفَ بِهِ الْمُخَالِفُونَ لِلْرُسُلِ From that which the ones who have opposed the path of the messengers attributed to Allah, Allah exalted himself from that. وَسَلَّمَ عَلَى الْمُرْسَلِينَ لِسَلَامَةِ مَا قَالُوهُ مِنَ النَّقْصِ وَالْعَيْبِ And Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala surrendered and he accepted and he said peace on the messengers because of 
the statements which they have said, which is free from any deficiency and any shortcomings which they have attributed to him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then the sheikh went on to say it, وَهُوَ سُبْحَانَهُ And he, Allah, tabarak wa ta'ala, قَدْ جَمَعَ فِي مَا وَصَفَ وَسَمَّى بِهَا بِهِ نَفْسَهُ بَيْنَ النَّفِي وَالْإِثْبَاتِ فَلَا عُدُولَ لِأَهْلِ السُنَّةِ وَالْجَمَاعَةِ عَمَّا جَاءَ بِهِ الْمُرْسَلُونَ فَإِنَّهُ الصِّرَاطُ الْمُسْتَقِيمُ the Shaykh said, and in this passage, in this point, the Shaykh Rahimahullah is going to place for you and he's going to clarify for you the methodology and the path of Ahlul Sunnah in which they are upon in Allah wa Ta'ala's names and attributes. And this methodology, in which Ahl sunnah are upon, they took it from the Kitab and the Sunnah. And it's a methodology. الَّذِي يَجِبُ أَنْ يَسِيرَ عَلَيْهِ الْمُؤْمِنُ فِي هَذَا الْبَابِ الْمُهِمِّ It is obligatory on every single mu'min, every single believer, who believes in Allah and the Day of Judgment, to tread on this path. Especially in this important point, or this important chapter, which is Allah's names and attributes. So what is it? This methodology is that Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, He combined for Himself, when He describes Himself. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He describes Himself. Or Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, is mentioning His own characteristics and attributes. He combines between what? Between negation and affirmation. بين النفي والإثبات Negating from himself what? Negating from himself anything that opposes his completeness. All types of deficiencies, they fall under that. Such as having any partners, not sleeping, not dying. All these are not characteristics that can be attributed to him. And he negated it from himself. Because it goes against his completeness, subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the negation. وَأَمَّلْ إِثْبَاتُ as for the affirmation now. Is that he affirms for himself every characteristics that shows and implies his completeness, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah wa ta'ala he said that in two verses. In Surah Al Hashr. He said, Huwa Allahu Ladi La ilaha illa huwa al Malikul Kudusu Salamul Mu'minul Muhaiminul Azizul Jabbarul Butakabbir Subhanahu Abba Yushikun Huwa Allahul Khalikul Bari Ul Musawir Lahul Asma Ul Husna Yusabihu Lahu Mafi Sabawati Wal Ardi Wahuwa Al Azizul Hakim and this is ala sabeel tabthil ila al hasr this is just an example but it doesn't mean that these are the only two verses that combine between affirmation and negation there are many and they're extensive in the quran if you look at it you will find it this is just an example then the sheikh went on to say it فَلَا عُدُولَ لِأَهْلِ السُّنَّةِ وَالْجَمَاعَةِ عَمَّا جَاءَ بِهِ الْمُرْسَلُونَ فَلَا عُدُولَ What does the word عُدُول mean? لَا مَيْلَ لَهُمْ There is no deviation. The word عُدُول mean is to divert. There is no diverting. For أهل السنة Or there is no deviation. For أهل السنة From what? عَمَّا جَاءَ بِهِ الْمُرْسَلُونَ 
for that which the messengers have come with. Ahlul Sunnah, there is no deviation in their, on their side from the path of the messengers. They don't divert from it and they don't turn away from it. They're on it. And they tread on that path and they are following those footsteps of what the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And they call to that path. And that path, فَإِنَّهُ الصِّرَاطُ الْمُسْتَقِيمُ That is the straight path. فَإِنَّهُ This is a ta'leel. The reason why Ahlul Sunnah are on that path and they don't divert from that path is because it's the Sirat al Mustaqim. It is the straight path. It is the path in which we ask Allah wa Ta'ala five times a day in every single unit of the prayer, every single rak'ah. We ask Him in Surah Al Fatiha by saying, Ihdina Sirat al Mustaqim. And also it is mentioned in Surah Al-An'ami Ayah 153 وَأَنَّ هَذَا صِرَاطِي مُسْتَقِيمًا فَاتَّبِعُوهُ وَلَا تَتَّبِعُوا السُّبُلَ فَتَفَرَّقَ بِكُمْ عَنْ سَبِيلِهِ And this is the path in which we call every single person to. And that is the path in which we call every single person to if we want to be from Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Then the Shaykh now went on to saying and explained to us that Siratul Mustaqim, that Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah are upon. What is that Siratul Mustaqim? The Shaykh, Shaykh said, Siratul Ladina. أن عم الله عليهم من النبيين والصديقين والشهداء والصالحين. This path, this path, in which أهل السنة والجماعة are upon. The path which the messengers call to. The path which Ahl Sunnah took and they treaded on. This is the path of four types of people. It is the path of the prophets. An Nabi Yuna Jam'u Nabi is a plural of a prophet. The second one Ahu As Siddiquna. Siddiq is the Jam'u, is a plural of the word what? Siddiq. And it is Sigatul Bubalaga. It is the one who is excessive in adhering and following to the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Ma'akabal al Ikhlas Lillah with complete sincerity for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The third is Ash-Shuhada, the martyrs. The word Shuhada is plural. And the singular is Shaheed. The singular is Shaheed. And a Shaheed, a martyr, it is the one who is killed whilst on the path of Allah. Why is a the word Shuhada used for a martyr? Because the word shaheed in the Arabic language, and it means testament, is to testify or to witness. So why is a martyr called a shaheed? The reason the scholars they say is because لِأَنَّهُ مَشْهُودٌ jannah, Because it is testified that he's going to be in Jannah for him. He's got a testimony. He has a witness from the Kitab and the Sunnah that he's going to be in Jannah if he dies upon martyrdom. And also that the angels are also going to be his witness when, when he enters paradise. And that is the view Ibn al-Anbari rahimahullah he took. Ibn al-Anbari. 
Also, you'd find that if you look at the word, uh, the, 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 the qawamis, the qawamis of the Arabic language, the dictionaries, such as the al Arab, if you look at it, you will find it. Ibn al Athir, his book, Al Nihaya, Fi Gharib al Hadith, and also Al Imam al Qurtubi, in his book, Al Tadkiratu Fi Ahwali, Al Mawta wa Umur al Akhira, he also mentions that the word Shaheed, it means Sum Yash Shaheedu Shaheedan, Lianna Allah wa Malaikatu Shuhud Lahu bil Jannah. And we ask Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala to make us from those people who are upon the Sirat al-Mustaqim. The word Sirat, sometimes it is attributed to him subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I want you to take this benefit because it's very important. The Sirat, sometimes yudafu ila Allah, it is attributed to Allah. As he subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said in Surah Al-An'am, وَأَنَّ هَذَا صِرَاطِي مُسْتَقِيمًا فَاتَّبِعُوا Here right now, the word صِرَاطِي, Allah said my path. So he attributed the path to who? To himself. And sometimes the path is attributed to the slave. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, صِرَاطِي الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ The path of those you have bestowed your mercy upon. So the path here is referred to or it's attributed to the creation of the slaves of Allah. And we mentioned who they were. There were four types. And Nabiyuna, was Siddiquna, was Shuhadai, was Salihun. Um, and the author, Rahimahullah, he starts the first chapter and we will leave that for next lesson. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik, ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, astaghfiruka wa atubu.